I arrived in England at the height of Brexit mania. The tourists were happy because the entire country had gone on sale. Some of the locals were morose, and some of them just didn't care, like the people drinking these $20 cocktails at a fancy hotel bar. Nothing says hello to financial ruin, like sipping rum from an elephant made of Legos, or gin from whatever this is. You know who else doesn't care about Brexit? People willing to pay $400 for a hair dryer. Dyson, as we all know, has perfected suck. Now, it's on to blow. Meet the Supersonic. According to the ample Dyson propaganda, this is the smartest hair dryer ever built. It uses an electric digital motor to produce an intense stream of air and then sensors to make sure that air never gets too hot. As a result, your hair comes out shinier and healthier than ever before. I feel like uh, I'm two inches taller now. <laughs> <laughs> To see how Dyson built this thing, I had to leave London and head to the company's headquarters in the picturesque town of Malmesbury. James Dyson founded this company in 1991 and has created his very own engineering paradise. The Dyson campus is littered with his toys. Of course you have a plane in the cafeteria. And made up of a handful of invention factories. My first stop is with someone who leads a constant battle to come up with ideas for brand new products and reinvent some old ones. Hair dryers just haven't changed in sort of 60 years. If we look at this, this cutaway here, um, you see they've got a very large motor inside, like that. But that weight you're holding, you know, for 20 minutes, half an hour while you're drying yeah. your hair, and very, very noisy. So we thought it was a really good product for us to get into. Dyson spent four years and $71 million to bring the Supersonic to life. And, as you might expect, they're obsessive-compulsive when it comes to hair. We felt that we had to learn everything about hair, the science of hair. We had to build our own laboratory to learn about hair for ourselves and learn what causes damage, what causes shine, what makes your hair look lovely. Hi, Matthew. Hi. Welcome to Lab 61. Thank you very much. Can I ask you to uh, put a lab coat on because this Absolutely. place is going to be kept spotless? Matthew Child is Dyson's electric motor wizard. He spent more than a decade developing the core of so many Dyson products. The vacuums have big motors, and the hair dryer has this tiny thing, a miniature turbine. This is more attuned to a, a jet engine you find on a commercial airliner than anything else. How fast does it spin around? 115,000 RPM. So that's about 1,800 revolutions every second. Yeah, that seems almost impossible. It's possible through very fast electronics <laughs> and a mechanical system that is able to take the stresses, the strains, for hundreds of hours at full speed. The electric motor technology will be key to Dyson's continued push into new product areas. Some people say it's secretly working on an electric car. What types of things would this be useful in? Um, well, at the moment, we've applied it to the air dryer. Uh, we have to wait and see what comes next. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> I can only say that. 